Saturday, September 19th, and this is how my rainwater collection system is working off of my little shop building. As you can see, I just basically did the same thing I did off of my house. Took the pipes, put a cap on the bottom of it, ran a, um, an extender to the rain gutter and twisted it so that it would put a screen in there, catch the pine needles or whatever. So water flows in here and it captures it in this tube. The tube is capped with a with a fitting on the bottom that allows for a hose to be attached. It's a little raised up so that the hose can bend around. And then it flows into this uh, to this Y connector here. It doesn't have any valves on it, but it's just a Y connector. And that goes to the other one here. It's capped on the bottom with the hose. It comes up here and it's got the same setup that I have on the house. Except it's just doing it off this one little building here. Then I fixed up a, a barrel off of the little shop, or little storage shed, and it drips into there, fills up, it flows into this manifold here, which was leaking because of the frost, but I put some uh, PVC glue and it stopped, it filled the crack and it stopped the leak. So anyhow, those two come together right here off of this roof. I got some solar panels on. See it's a small shop roof and it fills up this 300 gallon tank here. And just from the last few rainstorms, because I this thing was bone dry about a month ago, just after these <laughs> couple of rainstorms, it's filled up pretty good. It's clean water, it doesn't have any fluoride or any chlorine or any anything. Else. Might have some bird, bird droppings or squirrel poop in there, but anyhow, use it to uh, water my orchard. Get some apples going here. Delicious pear apples. Well, that's about it. Signing off.